Hey man, sorry about your father. Yeah, it's it's hi, how are you? How are you? Yeah, how are you? Well, it's nice to see you. Good. Thank you. Good luck. Good. Good. Thank you. Good morning. Speaks by heart? I'm not that talented, I'm sorry. Good morning. It's a great morning. We're actually very grateful that the weather has held up so far. You know, I just want to start off uh, by saying a world famous line. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crimes and the district attorney who prosecute the offenders. It's not my line. It's been out there before. We've all heard about the role that the police play, but we haven't heard about the role the district attorney plays. The DA is equally responsible for the record reduction murders, rapes, assaults, and robberies. It's not a coincidence that New York City is the safest large city in America, and Brooklyn has the crime rate of a small town in middle America. It's not a coincidence, folks. It's hard work. It's the hard work that's been led for the past 20 years by our district attorney, Joe Hines. His innovative policies have led to less crime, less criminals, and unprecedented cooperation between every single ethnic community in Brooklyn, including ours and his office. For example, instead of throwing drug addicts in prison, DA Hines works with them to get them rehabilitated. Instead of dumping criminals back on the streets, he works with them to make sure they get the skills they need to succeed. Joe Hines understands our community, and not just because he was the Shabbos guy growing up. Our community has unique needs, and he works with us hand in hand to ensure that justice prevails. This is, of course, an election year. D.A. Hines has an opponent. And I just want to point out, you know, a lot of people believe in myths. There's a popular myth in New York City. And the myth is that a single elected official has magical abilities to move votes, tens of thousands of votes. It's not true. I certainly don't have such abilities. The only ability that I have as an elected official is, is to bring people together. And standing behind me, we have the leadership of the Orthodox community. We have folks from every single organization, every Hasidic group, Babov, Satmer, Munkach. We have Square. We have the major nonprofit organizations that work hand in hand with us, including Yad Ephraim, Chesed Shalemes. We have the chairman of the community board. We have a united community here today in the Orthodox Jewish communities of Brooklyn, specifically Borough Park, Midward, and even Williamsburg are here today to support Joe Hines' re-election. And if you want to know why, the reason, honestly, to me is very simple. The first thing is that unlike his opponent, Joe Hines doesn't pander. What you see is what you get. Joe Hines' opponent goes into one community, says one thing, goes to another community, says something else, then goes to a debate, says something completely different. And quite frankly, that should scare you because this is not a typical politician. I think we all expect politicians to fudge the truth. But the district attorney is in charge of fighting crime in our borough, and we certainly don't want someone that has different versions in every single neighborhood that he goes to. I think the second thing that really disturbed me, and I think it should disturb anyone, is that this particular opponent is running on a platform which he's made very clear that part of his job is going to be to hold the Jewish community accountable. That's a little bit shocking, I'll tell you why. Because imagine if they said that about any other ethnic group in our borough and said, I'm going to hold the X, Y, Z community accountable, and we're going to go after that community. I think the community would be outraged, and quite frankly, we're equally outraged. It's re really outrageous for somebody who wants to be the chief prosecutor in the borough to say, I'm going to target a specific ethnic community in this borough, and that's what he said. He said he's going to target the Jewish community. That's something that, quite frankly, is shocking, it's outrageous, and it's unacceptable. And finally, you know, Joe Hines is a mensch. Those of you who don't speak Yiddish, loosely translated, he's a stand-up guy. I'll tell you something, we don't agree on everything. But we do agree that Joe Hines is doing an outstanding job. He deserves to have the support of this community. He will be re-elected, and quite frankly, and please quote me on this, I guarantee you that Joe Hines will win the Orthodox Jewish vote. Well, we do have a long-standing relationship. Uh, my office and Borough Park. We have a long-standing relationship with virtually every community in Brooklyn because I learned a long time ago when I became district attorney that if we were going to do anything about 
the, uh, the Hara, some would say Shanda here, uh, Brooklyn had become the fifth most violent place in America. For, the, for we to do anything about that reality, we had to work with communities. And the common uh, uh, relationship between the Orthodox community, the African American community, the Latino community, uh, communities across Brooklyn is the programs that we have created because every community understands that these programs have redesigned the office of a district attorney and have been responsible for taking Brooklyn from that, uh, that horrible position of fifth most violent place in America to a point 13 years after I had the privilege of becoming district attorney when Money Magazine said we were one of the 10 best places to live in the United States. We've built on that record, we continue to build on that record, and I asked the people of, of Brooklyn uh, in the Democratic primary to examine the fact that I have a substantial record as opposed to my opponent's uh, absence of a record. And so without a record, what he's done is distort, lie, uh, and, and tangent, as Councilman Greenfield said. Uh, I'm very, very confident that we will win on September 10th. We will win because of communities like Borough Park and led by great legislators like David Greenfield. We have, I have the support of uh, an enormous number of legislators in the African American community, the Latino community, uh, and, and I'm very, very proud of the relationship I have with the Russian community. So I'm confident that we will win uh, on primary day, but I'm very, very grateful nonetheless to this wonderful, great young legislator, David Greenfield, and all of these great leaders uh, who are here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm not going to uh, focus on what other people are supporting. I think we're all here today because there's no question that Bill Hines has done an outstanding job. He's a great district attorney, and we're here to show our support for him as a united community. I'm not going to uh, hypothesize on why other people decide to support certain candidates.